Hey, White Rock 85 here. Camp Go Time brought up the Thompson Center inline muzzle loader. Uh, Delaware muzzle loader season starts, I think, October 5th or October 6th. It's a Friday, goes for a week. And myself and Syntax 77 uh, will be muzzle loading, muzzle loader hunting down in Delaware. So we brought the uh, two muzzle loaders up. I'm going to do a video on this. The, again, the Thompson Center inline. Also have a Thompson Center New Englander, uh, more of the traditional type muzzle loader for the, for you purists. Uh, so we're going to first start with this one. Uh, if you're thinking about getting into muzzle loader, uh, most of the time, if you go to the stores now, just about all you can find is the modern uh, inline muzzle loader. Uh, as far as Pennsylvania goes, tell you the truth, I don't hunt muzzle load hunt in Pennsylvania, so I don't even pay attention to what you can do. I know the the after Christmas season I think still has to be done with a flint lock and some particular uh, uh, things like fixed sights and and things like that. I'm not sure if they opened uh, some type of October muzzle loader season. Really not sure, just because I don't participate in it, so I don't really worry about it too much. But if you're thinking about getting into it, uh, one of the things you're going to need, a nice big case like this, to put all the things that go with a muzzle loader. One of the reasons why some guys don't like muzzle loaders, just because all the things that go with it. You don't have one single projectile you put in your pocket, you put it in, when you're done with it, you, uh, you rack it out, you put it in your pocket, you're done. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why uh, some guys are not into it, guys, gals. Um, also, uh, if you don't have a pack, uh, they call this a possibilities bag. Uh, do you really need it if you're carrying a backpack with you these days? Most likely not. I, I got this a long time ago and uh, I use that. So some people uh, have a possibilities bag with them and I'll show you what goes in there. But uh, let, me open the, uh, let me open the box up. And this has everything that I need for the inline and the, the more traditional. So as you can see, filled with just uh, numerous things. And again, a lot of this is, is for the traditional. Uh, some, again, for inline, but um, uh, I'm gonna just start with uh, some of the things for uh, the projectile, moder modern uh, muzzle loaders. You, you shoot the uh, sabots, and these are the Thompson Centers. Uh, sabots. Uh, let me see what grain. These are the 250 grain. Again, this is a 50 caliber. So uh, let's take one out, take a look at it. And again, here's your nice 250 grain bullet, and it goes within the sabot. And again, this is what you would put down. This would hit the uh, your rifling of the barrel spin it and then of course would come off and this would go into uh, on towards your target whether it's a deer or you're just target practicing or whatever so this is what we're going to be shooting today uh, these Thompson centers uh, also uh, the powder we have our powder here and let me get my uh, Again, that's the uh, Hodgkin's Triple Seven, and we also have the, uh, the Pirate X that, uh, that, we sh that we're going to be shooting. I think I don't have too many of these left. Yeah, we have, and these are 50 grain pellets each. So let's pick one of them up. Actually, pick two of them up. So here's your powder charge, and there's two. Uh, particular pellets, 50 grain each, makes makes uh, for a 100 grain shot. So uh, let's get that pulled out again. And again, this is what you would be loading down the barrel would look basically just like that inside the barrel of course not without the uh, without the pipe cleaner there of course but uh, that's what will be down your barrel so we're going to get the, the muzzle loader let's take a look at it 
Again, this is the uh, Thompson Center. Uh, this is an Omega. Thompson Center Omega. And uh, da -da -da, nothing else written on it, really. Uh, of course, 50 caliber. Uh, we have our ramrod. And of course, one of the th one of the things you first do, and I know this is unloaded because I cleaned it and I took the uh, the breech plug out and everything, so I know it's unloaded. But uh, you always drop your ramrod down, and again, as you can see, it goes all the way down in this particular one. I know it's unloaded, and we'll see the difference uh, actually when I, we have something in here. But we're going to go ahead and load this up to get to our primer. Just push this down, and here's our primer. goes right in here, and that just takes the normal 209 shotgun primer. So that's, uh, again, purists don't particularly care for it, but uh, that's uh, it's really what you like. So uh, you like the just the modern modern uh, inline muzzle loaders, reliable, very very nice shooting, uh, and that's what you're into. That's okay. Uh, has just a, uh, a Bushnell scope on it. It's a one and a half by four and a half uh, scope. So. Uh, can handle the muzzle loader, the the action, the, the pounding you get from the from shooting the muzzle loader. But uh, muzzle loader, I don't shoot too far. I try to keep the shots uh, relatively close, within 60, 70 yards. This can shoot certainly well over that, especially with those those nice uh, bullets we're shooting. But uh, the areas that we hunt in Delaware, uh, you don't really have an opportunity to shoot that far, except for a couple in, uh, a couple areas on the farm. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot down here. Target's about 65 yards or so. So we're going to load this up and uh, and get to it. So let me put this down for a minute and see what else we have here that goes with it. And in, in my possibility bag, we have the speed loaders. Uh, saw these recently in Walmart. Wow, price on these things is like seven dollars for one, and I think that's actually outrageous for a price for it's a piece of plastic with rubber end tips on the end, end of it. That's outrageous, and, and you know, guys, try to get them on sale or something. I mean, if you're it right, if you, you're just starting out and you have to get it, try to, but try to get these on sale or something because that's that's seven dollars for a piece of just plastic like plastic tubing is is that's really outrageous. But uh, basically, you load up, and as you can see, we have uh, two of the pellets in here, uh, along with our with our shell or our, or our bullet, and uh, you basically just pop the top off, put them in. We'll show you that, and then you also have a primer here, so you you always have a primer. You can put one actually on the end there, and right here. So you have these in your possibility bag. I have a few, as you can see. I could have four of them. I know I didn't pay $35 for this, so. Uh, also have a uh, extended jag, palm saver, and tool, all kinds of tools that you need. Now this is the kind of stuff that I carry along uh, with me when I'm out in the field. So uh, it's got a nice T-handle on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the T-handle on. I also have a, a jag in there also, but I think I'm going to use this this new one. Put this aside. So I have my rod. I dropped it. So we have that and. Nice hole over here so it doesn't crush the end of our bullet. It goes right in there when we're actually pushing down on there. As you can see, it fits in there real nice. So you're not pushing on this tip, damaging that tip, deforming the bullet in any way. And the handle that I dropped for the other side. So there's a nice either a bench rod for us, a nice field rod, 
Uh, sometimes I'll just use the palm saver. Uh, I won't put this on. Just use the palm saver. Just goes right over the end. And when you push it in, uh, certainly saves you from, from getting your hand uh, a little bit hurt. So again, I have our palm saver. Uh, continues right then. So you know, out in the field, I'll use either one. Tell you the truth, really depends on whether I'm in a tree stand, if I'm in a ground blind. Uh, when I'm first setting up in the in the morning, if I know I want a fast follow-up shot, I'll put this together already and have it sitting in the in the blind, maybe uh, lean it against the side over here. Uh, again, with uh, with one of our rip cord, one of my rip cords right near. So if I need a quick follow-up shot, uh, I have my powder, I have the sh have the bullet, have a primer uh, all next to me. I have, already have the ramrod out and set up, so uh, you're ready to go. Of course, if you're in some type of uh, maybe a, uh, a climber stand or some type of tree stand, you may not be able to do that. Uh, but uh, that's how I try when I'm actually on a ground blind for a quick follow-up shot. So uh, we're going to go ahead and load her up. Again, I know it's unloaded. But we'll put this in. Now with this attached, I know I come right, there's some ridges on here, and I know I come within a quarter inch of the ridges. Now some guys will put tape on here, some guys will paint this. Uh, it really depends what you'd like. But uh, as we can see, I'm about a quarter inch away from the, from the ridges that are on here. So we're ready to load up, and again, I know this is empty because I had cleaned it out, pulled the breech plug out, and uh, we'll be doing a little bit of that later. But uh, So we're ready. Again, we'll take our powder, two 50 grain tablets. Let's go ahead and drop them in. And again, muzzle loader. Always want to keep that a little bit of angle away from you. You never want to do it straight up. You know, when you're when you're pushing down a little bit, you do, but especially when you're dropping your powder in, keep it away from me a little bit. So there's our two two uh, Pirate X uh, pellets and our bullet. And as you can see, it goes down to about right there before it would stop. All right, so I have a, uh, have a ball starter here, and I actually have a tip on here that it's not going to deform the bullet. So I'm going to screw that on. And again, this is something that I'd have in my possibilities bag. And we'll just go ahead and take that and push that down nice and straight. Okay, and it's down there. Then we will get our ramrod and go ahead and put it down the rest of the way. And once you feel it in there nice and solid, don't ram or don't don't just keep doing that. Once it's down there, it's in. Uh, just take your ramrod out and, you, and you're finished. So uh, we'll go ahead and put a primer in there, uh, get set up and ready to fire. So we'll see you back in, in just a second. Move some of our our box out of the way and some of our other things and we'll go ahead and fire. And here is the uh, the Remington. These are specifically made clean bore. You don't necessarily need to get these. Any 209 shotgun size primer will do. These say these are supposed to keep your bore clean. You're shooting black powder, it's not going to be clean anyway, so yeah, I bought them. I'm going to go, go with them, but uh, uh, here's our primer. And I'm actually going to turn this over to Syntex 77 and let him fire it. So let's just take a quick look. And again, we just drop our breech off. And this, this again, this is the, the Thompson Center Omega. Just push this down. Take our shotgun primer. Put it right in there. And we're set. You just have a hammer. you got to pull back. And you're set and ready to go. Again, I'm going to drop this primer out of here. Let's go to Syntex, get himself set, centered on the target, and uh, then we'll go ahead and fire away. All right, so Syntex 77 uh, has the loaded, at least charged anyway. Uh, basically, if you don't have a primer on there, it's called charged, but not loaded. So he is charged, checking his uh, sight picture out downrange. Again, target's about 60... 60, 65 yards or so. Yep. 
and he has the 209 primer. Go ahead and put into the breech plug. Close the breech. And then all he has to do is pull the hammer back and he's ready to fire. Ready? I am ready. So am I. Doesn't look too bad. All right. We'll get a little closer and find out. Yeah, we'll go down and take a look. Okay, Syntec 77 did good with that shot. He was in a, within an inch of the bullseye, 60 yards, which is great. It was just a little high, which is beautiful because if he has a farther shot, we know it's going to be in. Uh, again, here we have the rip cord that's available in some of the stores. Uh, again, get, just get yourself a good deal on this. So, say if I was in the woods, I took a shot at a deer, uh, I would have one of these. The rip cords actually have a, a, a loop on here that you can, you can loop it to your belt and pull it right off. Uh, I don't particularly use those. I just pull the, pull the end off and again just keep it away from you. Drop the two pieces of powder down and get our bullet in there. And again we have our bullet starter, ball starter. And our ramrod. And we're down to the end. If you time that, what was that, 25 seconds to reload? So that's not too bad. Of course, you're after a deer, uh, and you want a second follow-up shot pretty quick. 25 seconds is an eternity, but uh, it's, it's quick to load. So uh, ready again. Syntex 77, go ahead and take another shot with it. See how he's grouping down there. And the weapon's charged. He has his ripcord. And it does have a, so it uh, has your primer right on the end there. So you could just go ahead and if you had thick gloves on, you could go ahead and get it in there. And as you can see, that was awesome. right right in there. Again, if it was cold weather out, January hunting, had thick gloves, you could easily do that. We'll go ahead and close the breech up and ready to fire. Ready? We're ready. See where that went. All right, we'll go down and take a look. I went a little high again. All right, so here's our target. Uh, again, Syntec 77, first time he shot the muzzle loader. First shot was up there a little bit high. A little bit of nerves on that one, probably. Right, and then as the second shot was the one that was just about an inch high, and then the other one was just about right on there. Maybe we can move that uh, that sight over maybe about a half an inch or so, but I would say uh, it's, it's for the confident in that, yeah. yeah. For the range that we sh we have in Delaware, this is perfect. And we're just about perfect. So probably take one more shot and go ahead and wrap this up. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's see where that went. Yeah, we'll go down and check it out. Yep. All right, so here, here was the last two shots. One here, we moved the scope just a little. And right there, so again, about 60-some yards, 65-ish yards uh, for what we, the range that we shoot down in Delaware on the farm, perfect. 
So uh, Syntec 77, I would say he is set with the muzzle loader, the Thompson Center Omega. I guess as ready as I'm going to be. Just give me a little luck now. Yeah, that's all we need is a little bit of luck. So this is White Rook 85 and Syntec 77 signing out from Camp Go Time. Where? Deep in the woods, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania.